Hello. Today we are going to talk about upgrading a collector to a newer version. Reasons for upgrading a collector is typically due to uh, parsing issues. It's possible that maybe you recently updated your event sources, maybe uh, some of your Windows boxes, and uh, we had there were some changes to the formatting, and now we need an updated collector so we can properly parse those events. So the first thing you'd want to do is go into Control Center, which I'm already here in Control Center at Event Source Management. I'm going to assume you know how to get there. Uh, fairly easy. So uh, if you right-click the collector and click Edit and go to Configure Collector, Details, You'll see that the version of this Microsoft Active Directory and Windows Collector is a 2011.1R4 built in 2014, which is a somewhat old collector. After you find that information, you have to see if you actually if there's actually an update available on our plugin site. So to check that, you go to www.netiq.com slash support slash sentinel slash plugins and that'll take you to all of our available plugins for collectors, connectors, slew specs, actions, integrators, utilities. And just while we're here, I'll also show you we have a preview and test plugin site that has even more recent uh, collectors and connectors, but these there's there are not as many because these are preview versions and they haven't been officially tested. But typically, uh, they have been tested enough so that you can you can try them if you if it's a critical situation. So it it says use at your own risk, but there's typically not much of a risk with a collector because you can always install your old one back if the new one's causing you problems in it. And it's not going to cause any problems with the core Sentinel box. Anyway, getting off subject, I'm going to go back to officially supported collectors. Here we want to drill down. We want to be under the collectors section. We're going to drill down till we find the Microsoft Active Directory and Windows collector, which is right here. So as you can see, we have one from October 2015. 2011 1R6. So this is a more recent collector. So we'll want to uh, download that and to use to update Sentinel. Uh, before I download it, let me show, go through some of the icons. This icon is the documentation on the collector. This icon is the actual download. This icon is the checksum, just if you want to make sure that you uh, your down you, everything downloaded okay you can have your checksum and this icon is for creating bug tickets uh you 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 are able to do that as a customer let me quickly open the dock here so for the new collector if you want to quickly see which versions of windows we we support has a whole list right here. If you want to uh, see what type of events we support out of Windows, you know you can also find out that information. Connection methods, WMS, syslog, file method. Uh, just just a few things to look at before you actually install the collector. See if there's possibly any problems you might have in your environment with this particular collector. Uh, if you keep going all the way almost to the bottom, you can see troubleshooting steps, uh, known issues, and some release notes. Like your the collector we were looking at, I believe, was a 2011 1R4. So there's been two collectors created since then, and these were the issues that were fixed in those collectors. So you could possibly come in here and look and see if one of your issues uh, that you're having right now with the collector was addressed in some of the more current versions. 
So back to the plugin site. Uh, let me get back down to the AD collector. So what I'm going to do is click on the download here. Once I do that, as you can see in the bottom left here, it starts to download. Once it finishes, I'm going to go check my download folder to make sure it's there. It is. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to save this so I know where to find it. And I want to put it right here. Okay, so now I have the collector downloaded on my local box. That's not on the Sentinel box. It downloaded to whatever box you're logged in on. So now I'm going to go back to Sentinel Control Center. Well, Event Source Management. And I'm going to click this green arrow here on the left. I'm going to say import collector or connector. You can import both using this tool. So we're doing the collector today. Hit next. Browse. And I'm going to go to the spot on my box where I downloaded the collector. Okay. And there it is. Okay. So, as you can see, it's the 2011 1R6. Now that I've browsed to it, I'm going to click Next. And then the next box you'll see, it's looking at the old collector, 2011 1R4. Ask me if I want to update to this one, 2011 1R6. I'm going to click Next. Then the next box. It's gonna, you're going to have an update deployed plugins box. So any of the collectors that are actually here that are we're currently using, there could be more than one AD collector. Uh, and then it would say view deployed plugins. It would have a high, even a higher number than two. So regardless of how many, you'll want to update all of them. So check that box. Click finish. The update starts. Finishes fairly quick. As you can see, the red mark right there, that's whenever you update collectors, they stop and restart so they can update properly. If you right click it, go to edit, configure collector details, you'll see that it's been updated now to 2011 1R6. Get back out of there. And uh, as long as the collector is running, it should start collecting events. If you should have problems with it for any reason, then obviously open up a tech support ticket and we'll take a look at it. Uh, that's all I have for today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.